Hi, uh, my name is Nadia Chow. I'm a technology analyst with ID Tech X, and I'm here today with Vainisha. So um, can you tell us a bit more about your company? Sure. Our company is a high-tech company and we make uh, wearable sensors. Mm -hmm. As you can see on the screen here behind me, <laughs> we have a sensor that are integrated into a sticker, a second skin sticker that you okay. can put on the skin. Uh -huh. And with that sticker, you can do a full 4D body motion capturing. So you can have an image of that person, okay. what he's doing and make a complete analysis of his body. All right. So that is what we do. That's the core. That's the core technology. There's a lot of applications possible mm -hmm. with this uh, technology. For example, um, home monitoring of people who just had uh, a surgery on their knee or on their hip, okay. and then at home they can see if they are doing their exercise as well, and mm -hmm. the doctor can monitor them from 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 a distance, and they don't have to get to the hospital all the time. So that's a good example of, of why the technology is interesting. Yeah, sure. And um, can you tell me a bit more about uh, what you have here and the, the patch that's on the torso? Here on this dummy, you can see a breathing sensor. So this one is meant to um, capture someone's breathing and analyze and do a full analysis of his breathing. And on the back side, you can see a back sensor okay. that we're not really showcasing today, but still. Uh -huh. Uh, and you can make a full 4D image <coughs> and monitoring of that back. So that's something that's very novel. By the way, we won the best new wearable technology device 2015 at ID TechX. Oh, great! So, <laughs> yeah, we were here before. Great. So, um, how has ID TechX helped you at the show? In many possible ways. First of all, obviously there are a lot of suppliers here, mm -hmm. so we can have good contacts with high-tech suppliers, which is absolutely fantastic. And on top of that, we can find clients here, mm -hmm. which is another major advantage. People that are interested in actually buying the technology and integrating that into their products. Mm -hmm. So for us, ID Tech X is both ways fantastic with the contact. Yeah. Great. Um, is there more here that um, we haven't seen yet? Well, uh, here we show a lot of things. For example, the first uh, system that we are going to put on the market, which is our Kina system. It consists of a controller and two stretch centers on the knees with integrated IMUs, by which you can make a full 4D pelvis and legs analysis. So that is what we do with this sensor. On top of that, we can do other applications, such as um, doing a aerodynamic analysis for we, people who do cycling and that you can see over there wow uh, you can see what his posture is on the bicycle you can mm -hmm. measure the way that he's cycling his knee dynamics etc etc so in fact what our um, USB is our unique selling proposition is that we can bring a biomechanical lab inside the, in the field so people right. that do sports, that do cycling, that do running, that do skydiving, we can do a full body analysis of what they're doing mm -hmm. in the field when they're just having fun doing their sports and that's the thing that we want to do. Great. So we're going to do a demo now, so we're going to hand it over to Patrick, our CEO, who is a technical guy and he can explain everything on the technical side. So here it is, Patrick. Hi, thanks. Four zeros. Hi, so who are you? Uh, Patrick van der Wever, CEO of Venetia. Uh, and we're here specifically again in Berlin to show some uh, real working stuff this time. Mm -hmm. So um, we've got our wonderful sporty model here, Herat. And what he's wearing actually is the Kina system. And the Kina system is a hybrid system which is comprised out of uh, a combination of uh, spatial systems. So 3D MEMS IMU systems, nine degrees of freedom, combined with our stretch technology. And that gives you the wonderful advantage of being able to, uh, to eliminate the blind spots of uh, MEMS technology only. Okay. So by making a hybrid system, you can uh, seriously increase accuracy, um, robustness of the system, uh, of, the, of the signal also, um, but specifically resolution, right. which is, which is uh, a, a prime thing when you're measuring human body motion capturing. Sure. And that is what we are demonstrating here. Moreover, we are going to um, work further on this um, 
what is now still a mathematical uh, wireframe and we are going to increase the functionalities of these mm -hmm. by adapting the wireframe to the morphology of the person wearing the wearable technology. Sure. In such a way that this is the first half, obviously, mm -hmm. legs and pelvis, and we are going to build on to that so that we have also the torso. Right. And with one single 3D snapshot, mm -hmm. you will then be able to adapt the wireframe to your own morphology as a user wearer of this of this uh, hybrid system. Sure. And that will uh, provide much more, much directed, much more focused uh, information about what your body does. For instance, mm -hmm. for integration in this system, which is then again a combination of other parameters such as computational fluid dynamics. Mm -hmm. And in this concept, we combine everything. So we have okay. a hybrid sensor system, sensor fusion. We combine it with computational fluid dynamics. And uh, the result of this, for instance, is that riders yeah. can have real-time information about their drag, their uh -huh. air resistance, mm -hmm. which is the prime parameter when racing, yes. without ever being in a wind tunnel. Great. And that is completely new. Yeah. So uh, we already surprised the number of visitors here with, with this thing. This, <laughs> is, this is going to blow every, everybody away. So and that is what, is, what, what Gerard is now uh, wearing here mm -hmm. is uh, actually the first part of, of that sort of uh, new developments. It's a little bit shaky at the moment because we're using uh, a computer which isn't, which isn't <laughs> really up to the task, graphically spoken. Sure. It's a little bit slow, but uh, it's, it's all brand new. I mean, uh, Monday night we were still soldiering. <laughs> Well, that's really cool. Thank you for your time. Okay, you're welcome.